everyone. Uh, the new Spider-Man trailer is out, and we seen it. All right, intro music. And I am here with Vinny, Dota, and Holy Shinobi. And guys, first, let me get your, like, how, on scale of 1 to 10, like, how anxious are you for this trailer? Mm -hmm. I'm about a 7. Um, unfortunately, social media is, like, kind of ruined <laughs> some of what I'm, I think I'm about to see. So I'm really not that anxious, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited though. My expectations are at a medium. Uh, just you know, like uh, Dota said, uh, social media has spoiled this uh, heavily, um, but you know, uh, hopefully it's cool still, hopefully. All right, Ben? Um, I, I would have to agree. Um, of course, like literally, it, if you didn't watch it the minute it came out, you probably have already seen a spoiler for it. Um, but I still think it's going to be really great. Um, I'm really excited to see what is in store for the trailer. Honestly, and, uh, guys, Albert Einstein I, is also wants to see too. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I am, skip all of them. Your boy Q is like on 10 about this. When I tell you I was checking every single day the Marvel website, Sony, YouTube, I was like amped up. I saw so many reviews, so many like leaks. I, I'm on 10. I'm ready for this. Absolutely. So, like, without, let's all further ado. Let's just get into it. You all have the same link. Our guys on three, just push play. Ready? Is everyone there? All right. Three, two, play. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man, we started getting some visitors. every universe. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. Sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling to have everything you want while the world tries to make you choose. It's all my fault. I can't save everyone. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively at movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th, Spider Monday. Well, well, well. <laughs> Yo, that's... Okay, uh, before we get into it, initial thoughts. All right, we'll start off with you, Dota. Which initial thoughts when you first saw, like, as it's all going on? Um, surprised. I was, like, shocked. I'm actually, oh my gosh, now I'm really excited for this. One thing I did uh, not see was any appearances of any other Spider-Men. 
but um you know other than that i'm actually really yeah this is i know this is going to be really good all right then um well i just have to say first um i don't it was so much i felt like it was it, it's just you never really know what's going on it was so much happening all at once and i think that was really cool about it and even seeing um i mean that kind of the scene where she was mj was falling it kind of looked like that scene with in andrew garfield's movie mm -hmm. um so let's hope she doesn't die the same way but yeah i think it, it's a lot in store and i'm really really excited for that all right talk to me Shinobi. baby fox that's all that matters <laughs> normal, normal looking jamie fox uh that's all that matters it's my only takeaway from this. That's that's it. You're only wow. Okay. Well, I mean, not like the dis. We're just, we can't just disrespect uh, Otto Octavius like that. That's the the audacity. These children, it's your generation, it would make fun of Otto Octavius. That's wow. SMH. <laughs> but that's what. It's my thoughts. My initial thought was, yeah, no, I no, I agree with Dota. There was no other. Spider-Man, like even though I mean, of course, of course, these aren't clips all from one scene. They're clips about the movie. So you would think somewhere along the line, like they would a shadow or something, something. And because like, honestly, I heard a rumor that or a leak that in the end of the trailer it was supposed to be like two shadow figures of two other Spider-Man. They but they weren't gonna actually show their faces. But it looked like this is all like solo Tom Holland. And like everyone kept saying, oh, we saw a lizard, we saw a lizard, but he actually peered out. And that's what I kind of want to get into because like the, the whole thing, the whole plot of this movie is supposed to be the, the Sinister Six. And we all know uh, props to Stan Lee and Steve Ditko for making the Sinister Six back in 1964. There have been like 15 iterations of it, but I mean, they I pick, I said they picked some pretty heavy hitters for this version of the Sinister Six. I liked it. It was, I don't know, it was just all so... Oh, I just, it was so much. I, yeah, like Vince said, there was just so much in his trailer. It's so much to that said. Um, what did you guys think about uh, the the fight scene? The, like they elongated the fight scene between uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's character, Doctor Strange, and Tom Holland's character, Spider Man. What do you guys think about the fight scene? Anybody can jump on the floor. Um, I really liked it. I think it. It adds to the, I mean, because you have a Doc Ock who is now, I thought he was going to be going against Peter, but now he's kind of being that, of course, father figure again, like he was to the original uh, Peter Parker. But um, so because of that, now I feel like they're trying to make Doctor Strange more so the villain, especially with what MJ was saying, like, oh, this is your fault, essentially. So... Um, I, I think it'll add some uh, unction, you know, to the movie, and yeah, I think it'll be good. I didn't realize that uh, they're all dead. I didn't realize that till watching this trailer. Um, everyone's dead. They all died in their respective movies. So they man died. They all died. I don't remember Sam Man died. They brother. all the, William Dafoe died. His yeah. son. I did anyone else also catch that like there's another uh green goblin? Did anyone else catch that? There's like two green goblins in there. There was two? No, I can't see. There's like one with a mask and one that looks like uh James Franco. I could be wrong, but it looked like two different people on Whoa, I didn't see that. Oh, that would be good. Uh but like but they're all dead. J Jamie Foxx blew up in <laughs> Andrew Garfield's version, Lizard died, Sandman died. So it's interesting. He said like they're all ghosts. So I, I'm curious how, that's an interesting loophole, uh, that they're all dead. Uh, which, and then I'm just curious, well, what happens to all the Spider-Men who may or may not appear in this movie if they all die? That's interesting. So I, I'm interested to see that answered because yeah, they're all dead. At least in the movies, movie movies. So that's, it's interesting. I'm interested. Right. I'm gonna comment on his what he just said after Vin says her thing. Go ahead. Man. Um. Well, I would have to agree with Dota. Um. I do. I definitely think they're gonna make Doctor Strange look like the villain, especially since I mean the audience has kind of already tried to. You know, he's always like, "Oh, this is the only option," and everybody's like, "That doesn't really make sense. There's got to have been more options." So 
I feel like he is going to become a very large antagonist in this movie, especially because of everything that has happened in Peter Parker's life. And it just seems like Doctor Strange is kind of making it worse. So I think he's definitely going to become a villain. Hmm. Okay. I, so to comment on Holy Shinobi, that's what was one of the leaks. It was the fact that they're apparently they're all being pulled from the universes moments before they died, apparently. That was what was said. But like even to that aspect, um, the lizard and Jamie Foxx were from the same universe, but two different times. So how they're pulled, that's gonna be I I need I Marvel better explain that because that doesn't make any sense. But yes, the leak was the fact that they're being pulled from their respective universes right before they die. Because yes, William Defoe, he got stabbed in the chest. Uh, like you said, Jamie Foxx blew up. The lizard fell off of something. He fell off like a skyscraper. I can't remember. But I don't know how Sam and that. I didn't even remember Sam and that. But everyone, and then um, Dr. Octopus, he fell off. He fell into the fire, right? So, I mean, but at the end of his movie, that was Spider-Man 2, the uh, first Spider-Man 2, he was kind of, he came back to his senses like, okay, this was wrong. What he was doing was wrong, all that stuff. So, I have to disagree with you. I don't think there's going to be a villain. I just think that uh, Spider-Man being the lovable, oh, there has to be another way character he is, has to disagree with Dr. Strange, who this is the only way, because he's, he literally said in the trailer, this is their fate. They have to die by the hand of Spider-Man in their own respective universes. And by not doing so, that could collapse their own universe or the, main, the, the Marvel universe, the one we're in, the MCU. So... I don't think there's gonna be a per se villain in this scene because even in like in the well, first trailer we saw say it again. Well, because uh when I was watching the trailer, Electro he said something like, You're not gonna take this away from me or something like that. And I don't it, know what would that, that be his life again? No, would he be just, sent back to his like his skin, his skin is normal and that gap is gone. That's that's what it they got rid of the gap. They got rid of his blue. He, he, was blue. he was blue. He's normal black man uh, <laughs> in this trailer. So that's like an already we're retconning things. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm definitely interested in how they explain all that. Also, uh, I think this is gonna be more of like an adventure movie than like a there's a bad guy. I remember like the first set photos like they were like in a temple of doom situation. There is some sort of something looking for something so i'm sure there's some mcguffin thing we gotta look for like he said we're gonna scooby do this thing whatever that means uh so, yeah i mean who knows yeah wait a minute they did say scooby-doo like in the, the main plot of scooby-doo was figure out who was like who was the guy behind the mask so what mask are we trying to unveil here when he says scooby-doo this thing well, no, I think in Scooby Doo they're also pulling people from different. Like, I think there was some series where they were pulling people from different. Yeah, there was. There was. Like a, there was a series of Scooby Doo when it was like a whole bunch of different variations of shows were coming in. So I think that was kind of what he was. What? Like, I think. Yeah. I think they're just saying there's a mystery to be solved here, and <laughs> I, I don't think it's that deep. Uh, yeah, I think, and this is probably because they're smart because this is the last trailer. We're not getting anything else after this, so which is crazy. We'll just be speculating for the next uh 30 days. Oh wow, 30 days. Oh my gosh, guys, I promise you, I'm gonna be the first person to get their ticket at the Regal Theater. Honestly, no fun with that. I'm I'm super excited because, like, I'm just glad they finally elaborated on the box so clearly. I can't remember what the box is called in the comic books right now, but the box that he stole from Doctor uh, Spider-Man stole from Doctor. Clearly, this is the thing that's supposed to like trap them all. I'm not sure, but I'm interested to see on how he realizes, or like, because another leak was the fact that William Defoe's character is supposed to somehow swindle Tom Holland's character into saving them all. So I wonder how how they're how they're gonna just send. Uh, they have to be sent back. That's obvious. I then how why would Doctor it. Strange have a problem with Peter taking the box to send them back? What is the no? Peter's trying to save that? them from dying, right? Because like I said, they're all pulled away from their perspective universes right. moments before they're dead. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Doctor Strange so, is putting it back so they can die. Peter's trying to figure out another way. So it makes it, it also makes sense that like at the end of the Venom, the Venom and credit scene he's pulled from his dimension. And that like, was what I was gonna say. Yeah. I was like, well, how but that's but then that's stupid because then that implies mm-hmm. that there's Topher Grace also has to come back <laughs> as the Venom from Spider-Man Three. If we're playing by these rules, we have to have two Venom. Sure. Yeah. Um. You know, if they don't do that, I what are we doing here? What what are we doing? I mean, if you want to peel off to like, Venom, like I want to see the, two Venoms from two different. The end credit scene of Venom, he literally saw Peter and was like, "I want to eat him." Like he literally licked the TV. Some people speculate. I I talked to some people in my theater. They were like, "All the symbiotes are part of a hive mind." So what one knows, they all know. So if they are bringing back the other Venom. Then they, it's a hive mind, so they're connected. So they would both know that they hate Peter. But I would also like to see Peter don the Venom suit, the Tom Holland. So the Venom uh, that uh, we've just seen, I can't even think of any of his names right now. Um, the Venom we just saw, he can get the, the classic white spider and the, the webs. But right now, all we're seeing is black ooze everywhere. I think what's probably going to happen is. They're gonna pull all these Spider Man like from like right from the movies that they were in. I'm pretty sure, so I'm sure that we'll get uh Toby Maguire from like like into the Spider Verse, right? Like they pulled them right out of their universes in the middle of them doing things. So I'm assuming that makes and that makes more sense, right? It explains why the villains are still alive and how the Spider Man are like still Spider because like Toby, I like I. I still don't know what happens at the end of Spider-Man 3. It just kind of ends. So I'm assuming this is like, let's say this is like Spider-Man 2, Tobey Maguire, and like Spider-Man 2, Andrew Garfield, or something. Um, that's interesting. I think that's neat. That's okay, cool. I have a question for everybody. Because this is the one I think it's true. So like, we all know Sony and Marvel are doing this thing with Spider-Man. Do you guys think they're going to incorporate somehow, some way, Miles Morales? Because that's a rumor that's going on. No. But they're going to animate everybody for a no. second. <laughs> I don't think no. they're going to animate. <laughs> nope. I don't yeah. think we'll do that. Let's doubt it. Why? I mean, like, what? why not? Bring no. Skip three. Let's bring in four. No. I think it'd be they fun. may, like, I don't know if there's going to be, like, a scene where they're showing them being put back into, like, or all the realms are going to be shown at some point or something like that to where we'll get, like, flashes or glimpses but i don't think like to make a whole yeah I don't know. Like like 15 that. seconds like or not even a full like, scene i will be glad if i just see toby for five seconds that's what i'm saying i'll be okay we're really, with that. We're really pushing here my thing is though miles morales's world had he had his own like spider-man spider-verse so it's like it'd be too much you'd have to add in all these other i don't people. i don't think it's gonna happen i doubt it it'd be too much. <laughs> i doubt it so much doubt but hey if it happens wow but probably not <laughs> all right closing remarks on the trailer we'll start with you Vin. um i was very i i was very intrigued by it i am very excited to see it i've heard a lot of conspiracies that people have about the movies and what might happen and i think that you know i it, it makes me really want to see the movie i'm really just ready to to put all the conspiracies to rest to see what actually happens so yeah all right dota um vinnie said a great word conspiracy so my closing remarks are i'm about to go watch a whole bunch of youtube videos on the breakdown of this trailer and you know get some insight because i mean just watching it you're not really going to get that much out of it but people literally spend their time breaking down each and every single second of this so i'm about to learn some more information um on this and i'm actually yeah, i'm really excited i don't know how i'm going to be able to watch it the day it releases because people are gonna fill up movie theaters all over so i i don't know if i'm gonna watch it the day of but i will be there to watch it I will be staying off of social media for the next 30 days because Lord knows whenever this movie drops, people will be spoiling it all over the social medias. Um, yeah. Also, you know, trailers lie. Trailers have lied. Marvel trailers especially have been lying a lot lately, shamelessly. 
So, you know, I'm still skeptical, but you know, I will watch it, you know, maybe not premiere day, but sometime, you know. Guys, I'm more than excited. I cannot wait to see the unfold, the, the development of Peter, because this is the first time we even mentioned, like, the, no, this is the second time we mentioned the spider. The first time was to Ned in the first movie. So, like, I'm gonna, Peter's gonna develop, MJ, Ned, they're all gonna be, like, this is, I'm ready. Uh, don't forget to watch it. September 17th. All right, guys. It's we saw it. Now go see it. Yeah. All right. Bye.